and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in downtown Orlando. Workers are installing the Jack and Zanza star at the corner of Orange Avenue and Central Boulevard. And Fox 35's Matt Trezza explains the history behind that star. It just isn't the holidays in Orlando without the Kazanza star hanging proudly across Orange Avenue. This morning, workers hoisted the star into place at the intersection of Orange and Central. Betty Reed Kendall says she tries not to miss it. My sister and I try to come down every year to watch the raising. You know, it's very meaningful. More meaningful for her than most. She's the daughter of Wilson Reed, who owned one of two department stores that had stood on opposite corners of Orange Avenue decades ago. And had the idea to have the star connect the two competing stores for unity. By 1984, both stores had closed, but local resident Jack Kazanzas led a grassroots campaign to replace the star with a new one and keep it hanging every holiday season. In 2010, the city upgraded the star with 4,000 LED lights, letting it shine much brighter and more energy efficient. Work crews from the city and OUC closed a block of Orange Avenue while they did the work, fitting the frame around the star and raising it between the buildings. Cicely Carcamo was engaged to one of the workers and says it's her first time watching the installation. Every year I come here downtown, but I just never actually seen it put up, so I think it's pretty interesting. She says it's not the holidays in Orlando without the Kazanza star. Um, I think it's really beautiful. I always see that they have the decorations here, so I feel like it does give it more of a family feel. City officials say the star should remain shining brightly above Orange Avenue until sometime in January. In downtown Orlando, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.